Hello, welcome to Chargebee. In this video, we will learn how to create quotes for a new subscription using the Chargebee Salesforce integration. Let us begin by navigating to the opportunity for which you want to create a quote. Make sure that the opportunity is linked to an account. Click on the Create Quote button. As we are creating a quote for a new subscription make sure that the option is selected. Click Next. The account and opportunity for which you are creating the quote are visible at the top of this page. Let us add subscription products to this quote. We will begin with selecting a product family. All the configured items and services for the selected product family are available for further selection. Let us add renewable products by clicking on Add Plan. Choose the plan. You can also look at how prices are defined and adjust the product's quantity per your requirement. As we update the quantity, the total amount is also updated. Let us add another renewable product by clicking on Add Add-on. You can also add a one-time charge which is a non-renewable product by clicking on Add Charge. We will also add a manual discount to this quote. You can add manual discounts to each line item of the subscription or the entire invoice amount. You can choose the discount type as fixed or percentage and add the amount accordingly. Let us add a name for the quote. You can also add an expiry date for the quote. It determines when the quote expires. Before the quote expires, you can convert them to invoices and send them to your customers. You can set the subscription to start immediately. The subscription will start when you convert the quote or your customer completes the checkout. Otherwise, you can select a particular date to start the subscription. Select Billing Cycle. The billing cycle determines the number of times a customer will be charged for the added products. It can be set to forever or fixed. If you wish to sell the added products on a one-year contract and bill your customers monthly, you can select the billing cycle as fixed and set the number of billing cycles as 12. As we are selling the products on a one-year contract, select Apply Contract Terms to this subscription. You can configure what happens when the contract term for the subscription products ends. You can choose to renew the contract, a new contract, and a subscription gets created. Or, you can set the subscription to remain active without contract terms. As a final option, you can stop the subscription and the contract from renewing. You can also set a cutoff period for canceling the subscription. If we set the cutoff period as 10, the customer must cancel the subscription 10 days before the contract expiration date in order to avoid the automatic renewal of the contract. Click Next. Add any notes that you want to be displayed on the quote PDF for the customer's reference. If you want the quote PDF to include a detailed breakdown of charges applicable in each billing cycle through the lifetime of a subscription, select Display Detailed Charges on the quote PDF option. Click Create. The quote is created successfully. Let us look at the quote and its details. The quote PDF is available under the Notes and Attachments section of the Related tab. You can see the prices of added products here. You can also send the quote for Salesforce standard approvals and can track the progress under Approval History. On the Quote Details page, the Quote Acceptance link is available. You can send this link to your customers using which they can preview the subscription details. Add Billing Information Securely input payment information and complete their purchases. The quote that we created can also be viewed on the connected Chargebee site. Sign in to your Chargebee site and go to the Quotes section. Here is the quote that we created from Salesforce. As we signed up for the products, 
let us see the subscription that is created in charge B. You can see the contract terms details here. You have now learned how to create quotes for a new subscription using the Charge B Salesforce integration. For more information, refer to the documentation. Document links are provided in the video description. If you have any questions, you can write to support at chargebee.com or check out the need help section on your Charge B site. Thank you for watching this video.